Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we have a gun mod here. This gun is the .38 machine pistol, also known as the Mac 11. The Mac 11 is a real life gun, obviously. Um, it was made way back in the 1970s by a guy named Gordon Ingram. I'm looking up things on the Google, like look at me being a professional YouTuber and stuff. The Mac stands for Military Armament Corporation Model 11. It's pretty simple. Um, it's a smaller version. It's a subcompact version of the Model 10, the Mac 10. And this chamber to follow the .380 ACP round, so that actually makes sense. It also is notorious for having an extreme crazy rate of fire. A 50 round mag shot like 1200 to 1600 RPM. It just wasted that shit in less than two seconds. I'm really hopeful for that when we get the weapon here. It's added to the level list, so there's particularly a reason why we're right here, standing right where we're at. There's legendary variants. One here is a Hubris comic. So as soon as I find this legendary, I really do like the idea of finding legendaries in the world too. Well, I'll take it back. I'll show you guys where it's at in Hubris. We'll equip it, we'll show it off a little bit, we'll go back to my base, do some customization with it, and we'll go look for those other legendaries, and I'll see you guys once we find this gun. I'm in the middle of, like, fighting a bunch of ghouls, but I found the gun! Alright, um, so, it's real quickly, it's in this, uh, please let me have it now. There it is. Uh, 38 machine pistol. That doesn't look legendary, though. It just looks like a, a regular 38 machine pistol, but, um, there is one here. Now, obviously, that ghoul is a little bit too tough for what we're dealing with here. Especially this guy. You get the fuck out of here. But we are dealing with an extreme fire rate gun. I will just shoot it a bunch of times, I guess. I mean, regular ghoul is getting dead. This is... I have a mod that's making this particular guy particularly tough. Um, the animations do look nice, though. Stop resing the ghouls, please. There's too many of them, isn't there? Good. You're dead. Right? You're dead? This is our machine pistol. This is supposed to be a legendary. I'm going to check into that in a little bit, but this... I said it is in a locked room. For one thing, this is like what I think of the locked room when I come into the hubris here. There's like a, a specifically locked room pretty early on in the beginning. Obviously, the Unstoppables comic, all the different little things here. Um, but I do like to look at this gun. It's not in a locked room, though. That wasn't locked. The fucking ghouls need to stop with their shit. I mean, that's, that's melting them. Point blank, it does have the fire rate. You have to reload a lot. You get to see that nice reload animation a lot. But it was just in here. But this is not legendary. I'm going to... Uh, Check around here a little bit. It was just kind of in this dead guy in this little closet here. <laughs> He's having a rough time. Ghouls, can we stop the cap? Like, can we just stop being bullshit right now for a second? For like two seconds? I was trying to see if there is a legendary variant there. I will check into that though. Um, so far, so good. I will see you guys in a little bit. So I found, I believe to be the legendary variant up here. This is the Daywalker up here, all the way up stairs a little bit more, almost to the very tippy top of the thing right here next to the Grog nice. Neck bobblehead. Which is a new bobblehead, actually. Sick. Take that. Um, but the Daywalker. So, this must 50% chance to heal 10 HP on hit. That's wonderful. That's crazy. This is obviously, must be based off of one that Blade must have used. I understand the Daywalker as a Blade reference. Um, I don't necessarily think of the Mac 11 as being a Blade gun, but this is cool. That I, that's not an association I put to it. When I think of the Mac 11... This particular gun, I think like the micro SMG from GTA San Andreas. Like that's like the gun that I think of in my head. Um, I believe it was also in Battlefield Hardline as like a criminal gun. Uh, makes sense. It, like because like the same context there as like a drive-by gun. This one looks crazy though. 50% um, chance to heal HP is like 10 HP. 10 HP is not a lot, but like the fact that you can heal with a gun like a vampiric kind of gun is fucking kind of insane. You're holding it one-handed, so this has got totally different animations maybe. Um, we do have some more ghouls in here. There's a silver shroud costume and all this stuff. That's insane. That fire rate was insane. This is like a high speed receiver and stuff too. It must just be different attachments that make it one handed. Um, I don't know if there's really any more, too many ghouls here. There's one there. I mean, I can't really heal the HP right now because I've currently taken rads. So I can't even really see this effect, but we're going to definitely go get more legendaries too as we go around here. We'll take a look at the attachments and stuff too. I'll just kind of quickly hop out of here. Goodbye, Hubris Comics. I'll come back to you for other fucking mods because everybody likes to put their mods in, in you. I was going to say that's what she said. That's, that's some hard shit. I'm going to get back to my base, though, and I will test it out there. Now we're holding it two-handed, though. Or we were. Like, you're lowered two-handed. That's kind of a cool-looking effect. Um, Nice-looking iron sights, too. Um, Sick. Okay, I'll see you guys at my base. All right, everybody. Back here at my home base. I do like the one-handed look at the gun, the spray and pray style. This is only a 20-round mag still. We're going to customize the Daywalker. Um, I imagine it has the same customization. Like, if we go up here, you can take it to a .45 receiver, which is kind of nuts. That's, I mean, it still has that insane fire rate. You can even do rapid, which is even more insane. Um, even more damage, too, than the default receiver here that we found there, the rapid receiver. 
And then you could do sup integrally suppressed barrels. Also one with the flashlight is a cool combination. Or you could do a long light barrel. You do lose some massive amounts of range on the suppressor. So, you know, long barrel or long light barrel. Um, but th th those long barrels do reduce hip fire accuracy. And I don't believe the suppressed barrels do. So we got plastic grip, lighter weight, improved crit bonus, heavier weight, taped, lighter weight, less AP cost, improved recoil control. So taped versions of all that too. More bashing damage, improved recoil control. I don't know if recoil is a huge issue. Improved crit bonus sounds like a good way to go here. We got quick eject, so like 20, but faster. What's the medium mag look like on this? Obviously, we're customizing just the base one here. We got glow sights on there as well. Throw that on there. No muzzle because we have a suppressor. So we have extended stock, removed stock, lighter weight, collapse stock, improved recoil and bash. Comfort stock, longer, bigger stocks, full stocks, recoil compensating stock, gunslinger stock, improved reload speed, marksman stock, superior recoil, better weight with scopes. I think the gunslinger stock kind of the way to go on that. All right, let's see if that kind of similar type stuff is equipped on this daywalker here. So we got high speed receiver. That's like a whole, that's it's, it's, its own unique thing. So the high speed receiver didn't exist. This is 236 fire, which is even faster than the rapid receiver. There's a heavy long barrel. That's a unique thing. So actually I lied. Some of these attachments are unique to this particular daywalker gun. That's very cool. Um, you can't put a muzzle on it though. It does have a remove stock, but you can still put a stock on there as well. Um, different charms that do different things. Increased intimidation chance, improved critical rate with intelligence charm. Plus five damage resistance with the endurance charm. Improved range with perception. Improved bash damage with the strength. What's agility? Improved reload speed makes sense. Lucky charm, improved critical damage. Not critical rate. That's how intelligence is how fast you build criticals. Lucky charm. <laughs> and then a strap, improve recoil control. That's kind of cool too. That's fucking, oh my God, guns that are cool that do cool shit. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is our Daywalker one though. Um, I wonder if that has it on the regular one too. Like there's so many attachments here. Prepare your butts for a long video. Um, real quick though, I'm going to real quick favorite that one here. And then I'll put the Daywalker up just so I can have these guys switch between them a little quicker for you guys in the video. So this is our big long stock here. That's definitely in the way. And it makes it faster. There's a 30 round mag. Suppressed. Still sounds nice. Flashlight come out the gun. Come out the gun. It says with flashlight. It's hard to tell. It does look like it's definitely coming out of the gun. But it's like the side of the gun. You can see like better in that perspective here. And we can make it night later in another video and you can see. But definitely coming out of the gun. Not out of the pit boy. Um, I can go with the dark mole rat cave. But that's still not. You can definitely see the flashlight a little bit better here. Without like a little bit of lack of the light. It is definitely coming out of the gun. Glow sights are nice too. I do like the iron sights. This stock is a little heavy. I don't know if the improved reload speed is necessarily worth the. the... It's cool that it does that though. It's cool that you can make that choice we can obviously make this a 0.45 receiver lower that fire rate increase the range so you can also because it was talking about having a muzzle so if we put take the integral suppressor off we could put our own makeshift suppressor on there and then or makeshift anything which doesn't require very much gun nut and then you can make better versions that require higher gun nut or all the way to a regular suppressor with gun nut rank four which does not reduce range so that might actually be the way to go long barrel and then let's put a strap on there for recoil control for now um marksman stock i guess Improved sighted accuracy, just like the best recoil control, right? Better. That's better with scopes. I guess the recoil control is like recoil compensating stock or full stock. I bet the full stock is going to look sick, though, because it's a wood stock. Yeah, that's kind of the thing. And then you still get the charm on the regular version of the gun. Where do, what are we missing, though? The magazine. So what's a big mag look like? 50? It's 50? I believe 50 is what a Mac 11 is. It's 38. Um, so we have a long barrel on there now. Suppressed. Recoil control. It's pretty good. That's kicking a lot to the right, though. Even with that strap on there. Nice reload though. I do like the attachments. I do like to look at this stock though. It's much less in the way. And the recoil control is pretty good. Like, you're definitely staying on target. You obviously want to use a large mag. Um, and like the long barrel with the suppressor is better. It just is better. Right? Let's do the quick eject mag for a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm gonna like... Poor hip fire accuracy or reduced hip fire accuracy. This is like worse, right? And you could technically do just standard barrel, but we lose that range still, and we're still at the suppressed barrel level. And you don't know get the flashlight on there. This is it's better range, better recoil, but this has exceptional poor shot recoil. Let's put the suppressor back on there, and we kind of doubled it. We got to put the no muzzle back on there. Let's take a look at some of these sights. We have a laser sight, which is my probably personal way that I'd like to use the weapon. You just put it at the dot, and then you shoot the man. I mean, you can really see that recoil wobble in there. The faster mag is faster, but not like insanely quick. Um, let me check to see here. I know you guys hate this, right? Um, I do do have quick hands on, okay? So what I'll do real quick, just for y'all, because I know you hate this, I'm gonna turn it off, like, and I'll leave it off now. Um, 
I gotta go to different things. Specials and perks, perkies, agility, remove. Oh no, quick hands level one. No quick hands. I'm gonna quickly put it on and then remove it and see if that worked. I, like, it's a little bit weird. I still have quick hands. It didn't, that definitely didn't work. Um, I, I'm gonna reload guns faster. My perks can't so I'll have to maybe make a new character or something sometimes. This is the fastest reload with quick hands and a quick mag. The reload animation still looks nice. I still think it looks nice even fast. It's not like too fast. It's not too sped up there. The integral suppressor with the flashlight, I think it's kind of a cool combination there. Laser sight looks nice as a sight. I like the little one-handed running animation. This is a micro gun. It's a tiny gun. It's supposed to be like a, essentially like an auto pistol. It is literally referred to as a 38 machine pistol, right? It's a pistol. It's a one-handed gun. I know some of y'all get it up in arms, but you do lower it with two hands, which is kind of a cool look. Then you aim with one hand. That's, that's an interesting vibe. Even with the stock and stuff on there, you could technically hold it two-handed. Um, Integrally suppressed full stock. I mean, you could do that recoil compensating stock. I don't know think that's going to make a huge enough difference to, to justify it, but we'll put it on there. Um, it's still wobbing, and especially to that right there, it's still doing that. You know, I like to look at the wood grain stock. It's not like the, the recoil control is too much different. It's probably a little bit better, to be fair, but not insanely good. Um, we have a dot sight, a hollow sight, reflex sight. We'll take a look at those here. Um, the tape wood grip, I think, for that crit bonus, improved recoil control. I mean, this could be even, I mean, this is technically even lighter, let's say P cost. I don't know what the difference on that would be. We'll mess around with that a little bit. Um, I don't want the recoil compensating stock. I mean, technically, I just want like a regular stock. It says improve recoil and batch, improve added accuracy. I mean, we should put, uh, put the extended stock on it. Let's see if that's different than, so this is our dot site. It's a very tiny dot, very hard to see. Um, I don't know if the recoil is too much worse with this like, a regular wire stock and the wire stock less um, visual clutter on your screen. I could definitely control this recoil, but it's really about pulling the left, which is kind of a weird, like, and I just overdid it there. Um, dot sight's fine. It's just a really tiny dot. It's hard to see. I just, I'd probably prefer the laser at this point, but we'll go over all of these different attachments. Hollow sight. It doesn't have any increased accuracy benefits. It's just, it just looks different. Now, it's got a lot more reticle, I guess, to see, and I, a lot more cleaner of an optic. If you really are into, you know, having optics and sights on your guns, this might be the one for you. But let's take a look at what the reflex sight looks like and compare that. Now, I'm not saying everybody's got to put the integral suppressor on there. Maybe you want the long barrel with the suppressor. I actually like the integrally suppressed because it comes with the flashlight. That's kind of a cool combination. Flashlights on your guns are cool to me. Um, I just like the look of the weapon more, too, that way. This is our reflex sight. It's also very clean. A little bit more recoil than the dot sight. It's not just a dot. You can really see it. Like, I'm not going to control the recoil. 38 round mag. It's going up and then to the right and then up again. It's a weird recoil pattern. Um... But I just sprayed it from the hip, even as it is. I don't. I don't think you really need a sight. Laser sight, I think, would be the way to go. And laser sight gives you the maximum accuracy, so it would improve VATS, and it has improved AP cost on top of that. So you could do something like that. Combine that with the the plastic grip for even less AP cost. You might use this one a little bit still as it is. Suppressed barrel with the flashlight, 45 receiver, not quite the fastest fire rate. Um, I imagine the recoil is a little high because of that though too. So you could do something like, I guess, the powerful receiver if you want. Like not. I mean, I guess it's the same fire rate then. You might as well just put the 45 on there. Exceptional damage. The rapid receiver is the one that's a little insane. Yeah, that's really spitting bullets then. Then you're gonna, you know, have way more felt recoil. That's a lot of fucking damage. Um, but obviously that's just one variant there, right? Like, and obviously I do really, really like that this Daywalker got special attachment. Like, that's, that was insane. That recoil was like... Yeah, it jumped in it. Like, it's really hard to tell with this 20 round mag. We'll, we'll customize this one too. But... I do like that the, the this this can't have the integrally suppressed barrel, right? And it's got its own custom high speed receiver, which is even faster. Not too much faster, but faster. You do a little bit of accuracy stat from that. Um, and you obviously can't make it. I mean, you can still make it 0.45. You could change it to the other ones. You you know. So if I change, I don't know, like sketchy. If I change this, hopefully I can change it back. I cannot. High speed? No, I could put the high speed receiver back on there. Good. 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 Okay. So like the custom stuff, like the heavy long barrel, makes it have even better range than the light long barrel. No muzzle, though. So you can't put a muzzle on it. That's fine. And remove stock just for, like, aesthetics, I guess. For the for the aesthetics of it being a blade weapon. But you can put the strength charm on there. Improve the bash damage. That takes some gold and steel. Improve range on the perception charm. It's kind of a cool buff. Um, not that much range. It's only three on the stats, so never mind. Plus five damage resist is kind of cool. Uh, I think... The ones you really want to go for here are agility, intelligence, or luck. Those are like the stats, especially with this kind of machine pistol type weapon. Those are the stats you would gain the most benefit from. 
Um, and critical damage would be really good, especially because I think the damage of this is going to be quite low. I don't think you need the critical rate as much. Um, but what the pre reload speed on there? Uh, let's put the 30 round or 38 round large quick eject mag on there. Let's put the laser sight. That's totally not going to mess with it too much. Um, we'll put the less AP cost on there. The heavy long barrel high speed receiver. I mean, I guess in the remove stock still, why not? None of this does the AP stuff, right? No muzzle laser sight. For high accuracy, improved AP cost. We did that with the group that so we can kind of wombo combo those two things together. Let's see what the charm looks like when it is. It is hanging from there. That's kind of cool. Little agility charm. That's our fastest speed. That's still not insanely quick. I mean, it's fast, though. Don't get it twisted. That's fast enough you can, you know, kill a couple things, reload quick enough, start killing some more things fairly quickly. This Daywalker version is cool, obviously, because of the also bonus effect of, like, getting health back on kill. Um, but maybe we'll do, like, improved critical damage instead. Because I don't think the the reload speed is that much. We'll improve the critical damage. Because a nice little four-leaf clover man on our gun. That's the reload speed without it. It's not like, it is slower, but not that much, where I think it's going to be a factor. And then increased critical is going to be kind of nice. So this is our Daywalker one. But obviously, I, I had to keep them earlier for a reason. This is our other one. Still a good gun without the special variants and stuff. Obviously, this one just got the recoil reducing strap on there. But still, it's a nice looking gun. Has nice looking textures. Has a good amount of customization. The cool little charms in general just to have that customization of your weapon is insanely good to me i really do like that effect a lot um intricately suppressed with a flashlight or just a long barrel with a flashlight long barrel without a flashlight if you want to really go for range different sight options the laser sight is obviously always kind of goaded to me i really like that as a sight that's just my particular play style especially with something like this that you're going to spray and pray kind of close range you're never going to really like snipe with take long range shots with that you really need a scope for um but the, I like the look of the integral suppressor too, that it's really like ghetto rigged and then like you zip tied a fucking flashlight onto the barrel. I think the, the zip ties would melt eventually maybe, but you never know. Um, looks nice. Tape grip looks cool too. Very taped. Lower looks good. Put away animation, pull out animation, all that stuff. Custom looks nice. We're going to go with the Daywalker though. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go try to find these other two legendary variants and test the weapon out in combat as we're doing so. So I will see you guys when we get to the next part. Alright everybody, we're here, loaded in. I had to look up the location. We're at MedTech Research. There's a ghoul who's just seen me. Um, MedTech Research is located here on the map. There's a tap the boathouse with Severus Estates, the Relay Tower, um, National Guard Training Yard kind of over there, Green Top Nursery up here. Malden is a big city center kind of behind us here. That way, I believe that's... Yeah, look at my character and its orientation. So next here to Malden, there's this MedTech Research Facility. Um, we got some ghouls here. They want to die. They are definitely dying. Um, the hip fire on this is insane. Obviously, you don't even have to. The laser sight is good too. Reloading is kind of apparent. Vats accuracy, I bet. Yeah, look at how many shots we're getting off in vats. I can't even. So we've kind of like I did intentionally do that, right? Vats is style of weapon. Get your shit blown out, dog. Like I don't know why you wanted to come fuck with me. So apparently, the legendary variant is in an office here. We're gonna try to fucking find it. Um, I can't remember too much about medtech research as a as a building. Um, this one doesn't have a flashlight on it, which is the unfortunate thing. Um, what are you doing there, ghoul? I don't necessarily think we need to get the health back. This one is cool, but I'm actually going to show off in this particular instance that the flashlight is sick because we've entered a dark location. Um, you know what? Just shoot the door. Thanks. So in an office somewhere here, there's going to be the gun. Some 10 millimeter rounds. Um, Office is not very specific in terms of the mod's description on where this fucking shit is. I'm like double checking it right now. It says the next is found in an office in MedTech Research. An office is this? I mean, this is an office, right? But it's definitely not this one. I bet it's going to be a little bit higher up because um, this building does go up. There's an elevator there. I don't know if that even works. We'll look around here a little bit. It is very dark in here, but I do have mods that make it so that is his thing. Um, side door here. Little scientist. Overdosing on Mintats right as the apocalypse hit. That's not a good decision, my sir. See how you're, you know, you died on the toilet. It's kind of an embarrassing way to die. <laughs> this is a state are this field here. This, I guess I can open this, but this is not where I want to go. This is just security alert. Open airlock door. Sure. Access denied. All right. Lockdown is in effect. I forget. Like I said, I don't really remember this location. I probably should, but it's been a long time since I've actually done like a full place to a fallout for here i guess we got to take the elevator i don't really see another way up I'm, I'm sorry i apologize for being kind of like you know like i said this is a weird location for me but more chances to show off the gun 
the elevators are functioning, so we can't even take the elevator. The flashlight's still on too when I have the gun off, which is kind of a weird effect. Uh, just kind of when you have the gun on. Um, security alert. A security stat. Use the, the floor. Yeah, but like, where do I turn the security alert off so I can get up somewhere? Let's see. I'm gonna figure it out. Maybe it's it's supposed to be in this office. Maybe I'm just dumb and I'm not seeing it. Either though, I'm like double checking because I'm like actually concerned it's just in this office and I'm like overthinking it a lot. Um, I'll see you guys when I find the weapon though. I found the stairs. I'm just dumb. There's there's definitely a way up, right? Like, I just couldn't find it. There's a ghoul there. Just got blasted. Probably some more ghouls up here. I do like to look at the flashlight though. It's helping a lot. So in the ah, oh, this is more offices though. We're gonna show off more of the combat here though. Let's do that ghoul. But this this bats. I mean this bats accuracy is quite low, but we built up a critical for this bad reason. I'm missing a lot, so I probably should stop shooting. Vast accuracy is kind of booty, but like, if you do get them close enough, especially in this context of ghouls, this thing is gonna blast through them. In an office. This is an office, right? So, gun? Fucking ghouls doing ghoul things. I don't want to fall in the hole, though, real bad. Uh, I'll get lost. I'm really bad about that. Like, I really do like Fallout 4's emphasis on verticality. Yeah, ghouls, I hear you popping off. Being quite angry. Broken. Yeah, broken elevator. Cool. But yeah, you get like this close with this weapon, you just. Praying, praying, bats. I don't know what that burst even is. That eight round burst? That's a fucking insane burst. Seven rounds, I guess. Lucky combat shotgun is an insane roll. Obviously, you don't need to use bats. You can just do that kind of thing that I'm doing here. Laser sight works well. All this stuff works well. The gun is fun as fuck to use, especially for melting through these ghouls. But this office, this is the office. This is the goaded office that has the gun in it. And the thing is, it's relying on my ability to see. I have a low in real life perception score. It's a very dark colored basketball. Um, so I'm not gonna see it, right? Like that's the problem that I have. I have very much struggled to see things. I guess it's a different office. I mean, I looked in that one. It's not. It's, I don't think it's in that one. We keep going. We keep going. This elevator still inaccessible. Yeah. Useless. Fucking useless ass. Another office. This is another office. The gun could be in here. Right, this is how I go through my mentality in my videos and stuff too, right? Like, I'm like, oh, it could be. This doesn't look like it's in here, though. I guess we keep going. More offices. It's a fucking revert. Headshot? Chest shots, maybe? I mean, I have so many bursts, I should just allow just, like, like, queue up 5 million. Okay, you're not there, hit me again. Okay. You good? They're all dead. They're all. I'm safe ish. 10 millimeter pistol, very cool. You would think like it would be there instead, right? Like that, that seems like a very good lockdown is clear. There's a little sky hole there. There's the, there's the sky, fucking Bethesda. And and so this is as high as we get, right? Like this is very much the deal. Um, I think I'm going to- Gotta find the password. There it is, no mercy. We found it. Does 50% more damage against ghouls. So this is um, Left 4 Dead reference. I recognize this one. That's where I recognize the gun from too. I was thinking about it. I was like, I've seen the Mac 11 so many times. So this is this does more damage against ghouls because it's the one that kills zombies, right? That's fucking great. That's a great one. That's a cool one too. That's fucking cool as shit. I really like this gun. So we got no mercy here. There's no mercy. Of it. The point three eight one. Let's see, like, um, what the attachments are. Hardened piercing receiver. Suppressed barrel with the flashlight. Tape plastic mag to strap. Right. Iron sights. Collapse stock. We don't really have sights, but this is the gun. Very cool. We can now leave. But no mercy. Obviously, very cool for dealing with all these ghouls. And it makes sense that you would get it here. Um, no mercy is the hospital level um, in Left 4 Dead. The first level, right? Isn't it? The OG Left 4 Dead. I like it. So you can correct me if I'm wrong. Because I, sometimes I say bad stuff that's not true. Um, but yeah, this one, this is the ghoul killing one. And you find it in essentially a medtech research facility. But that's like essentially like a hospital. It's a very cool place to put the no mercy gun. I do like that look a lot. And it does have like a little biohazard symbol on the side of it there. I don't know if you guys can see that. We'll get a little zoomed in on the gun here. Um, on this other side. I don't know where did it go. It's I, I swear to God I see it. It's not on the... No, it's, it was there. It's just like really black, right? Like you can kind of see it there. Um, on the very end of the gun by the stock. There's a little like biohazard symbol on there. It looks nice though. Like little zip ties holding that flashlight on. Oh man, this is makes me nostalgic. I love the, I love this. It's not called the, I don't think it's called the Mac 11 in, in Left 4 Dead, but it is one of the greatest, my favorite spray and pray guns in Left 4 Dead as well. It's a cool little gun. That's a really fast reload. Got the strap. Um, we got one more legendary to get. 
So I'll see you guys again. I know that this has been a long video. I appreciate it if you guys are still around in the video. Some of you have already clicked off. Obviously, if you clicked off, you can't even hear me talking about the fact that you clicked off right now. Isn't that a mind fuck for the, those of you that are still listening? Um, so the last is in a raider-infested office building in Cambridge. That's not very specific at all, but I will see you guys when we get there. Actually, never mind. Death claw test. Does this happen to be a death claw here? Which is kind of a weird thing. This is obviously the one that does more damage to ghouls, but death claw test. It's dead. <laughs> it literally roared the second I paused the video. I unpaused it. Death claw test. Two mags. It's a lot of bullets, but this point three rounds are pretty cheap. I do like this gun a lot. I I'm excited to find what the last variant is and what is it's a reference to. It could be a reference to GTA San Andreas, like I mentioned earlier. This Left 4 Dead one is cool as shit, though. I'll see you guys when we get there. I is in Cambridge now, you guys. I'm going to show off a little bit more combat with this gun, but there's fucking raiders everywhere here. And a raider-infested office building. Campus law offices. This has got to be off... This is, you know, this is in Cambridge. There's raiders in here. Daywalker variant. Full loud. They know I'm here already. They can fucking eat shit. You can eat shit. Legendary ass bitch. Think you're fucking clever. Safe crackers. Pretty good one. If you actually do that kind of stuff. I gotta take that road mask too, though, I believe. Outland rat outfit. Um, that's different stuff. So, in an office would imply something like, I believe, this building here? This isn't... But this is like... This, that's like the one office in this building you can access, right? Everything else is closed off. This is my default regular flashlight. I really don't like the look of that, right? This flashlight is so much better. Just, like, put the flashlight where I'm looking. It's going to be really hard for me, somebody who's not very clever, not very smart, to find this particular variant. Because Cambridge is a big place. There's the Kindle Hospital, the, the, the micro center, the campus law offices here, the Cambridge Campus Diner, the Fraternal Post, the police station, the College Square, the College Administration Building, maybe? Raider-infested deaths rough dog that's that's some rough shit i'm trying to think about it you know right like what an office building with raiders in it in cambridge of all places is like every building this might be ghouls here though let's put that no mercy one on there we could kind of switch between them on the fly if i'm clever enough about it actually um if in case you run into some ghouls i just have the default on for right now there's the ghoul extra ghoul damage is very helpful it's not like it does less damage to these fucking sting wings or other things Ghoul, ghoul, ghoul. Oh, good, didn't go to combat test, man. No mercy variant doing its work. Maybe the collegiate building over here, though? I just want to get there, kind of. I do like that running animation. It's a little bit weird with the flashlight on. You can just turn the flashlight off while you're running, but that is going to cause some weird issues. Um, does this building even have raiders in it? The collegiate administration building. This is like an office building, right? This is clearly... Can I get through there, please? I don't know if raiders are in here or not. I, like, It's just like... Sometimes my memory for like each little individual raiderized location um an office building this has got to have offices right you'd imagine this has offices i've been in this building before recently too i think this is not this i mean maybe more upstairs is an office keep going upstairs that's just a lower outside that's there's not raiders in here either though right is the thing this one might be the one that i have to leave for y'all to find because I don't know. This, is, this place has got robots, right? The college admin building. Thinking about it now, hearing that Protectron makes me think that this is a place with um, robots, not with raiders. That's just another door out. Um, I'm trying to think. College Square doesn't really have raiders. It has ghouls, right? Like College Square as a place. This is Collegiate Administration building is here. Um, I'm trying to think of other buildings it could be, right? Um, it's not the hospital, right? CIT is not it. Cambridge Polymer Labs is in it. Fraternal Post is that? Isn't that Raiders? I'm gonna go there. I have no fall damage on. Don't worry about me. Okay. I'm gonna go to the Fraternal Post. But if we run into combat on the way, I will take care of it as we as we do. The iron sights on this seem weird compared to the laser sight. I do like that laser sight. Like I'm trying to think about what other buildings are infested with Raiders, right? Like, cause we the diner here can sometimes have Raiders, but the diner is not an office. Like, and this is just. That's like a school building. Is it like some random building? Like, cause it would, wouldn't it say the building if it was a building? Like, I know I killed a lot of raiders here, right? And there's the fraternal post right over here. Isn't this building though, super mutants? If I remember correctly, it's so tough, man. Like, right? This is where, and this is where we're like male characters, Nate characters talk about like being in the military. Yeah, this is definitely super mutants. Um, doesn't mean that the weapon is not here, but. That is, this is definitely not Raiders. You can still show off Dead Eyes there. He's dead now. Um, but this is, this is, for one thing, definitely not like what I would consider 
an office building, blind and super mutant. What a cool little side story that is. Um, I'm gonna get copyright claim. I swear to God, video. If you cop, if YouTube, if you copyright claim me, I'm suing. I'm not actually, but like, clearly, I would lose that shit. This is just bathroom. This is definitely not a raider infested office building. That's such a fucking generic ass term. Gotta take the quantum though. Um, but yeah, so I guess I'll, I'll look forward to more. If I find it, I, if I, I do, I'll show it off. If I don't, I I just won't. And then you won't see. I mean, you'll see me in the, again in the video, but you won't see where the weapon is because I can't fucking find it because I'm bad at these things. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to have to give up on the hunt for this one. That's okay. Um, I'm sure it's a cool thing. You guys got to figure it out for yourselves. I, I just cannot spend... I mean, it's been a long time. I've gone like to every, I've gone all the way over here, right? Because this is still the Cambridge Cater, so this is all still Cambridge. It's a humongous location to potentially have, you know, just some raider camp in an unnamed building where there's a legendary variant. I've killed lots of raiders, looked for lots of different places and stuff. Haven't seen it. Maybe I have seen it and I just walked past it because I'm dumb like that. You guys are going to have to find that particular one on your own. Let me know what it is in the comment section and stuff too. If it's something really cool that I'm missing out on. I do like both of the variants though that I did find. The Daywalker here. Getting that, you know, life back is pretty cool with this especially extremely high fast fire rate. Um... The No Mercy one for killing ghouls, right? You could you could have both of them kind of kitted up. This is obviously College Square, where there's ghouls. This is not Raider occupied, though, for sure. There's ghouls. This one is obviously going to kill the shit out of the ghouls. A little bit more combat for you guys at the end of the video, because I know some of you are going to be a little bit disappointed that I didn't quite get to show off that last legendary variant. I apologize for being bad at finding things, but... You know, I gotta prioritize my own time. I got other things to do today other than make this one video that is already probably really fucking long and nobody's probably watching up to this point anyway. If you are watching to this point, um, I'm trying to think of a keyword you can give me in the comments. You can say the word, um, you can, you can tell me what your favorite type of pasta is, okay? If you like spaghetti or Alfredo or whatever, tell me your favorite type of pasta if you made it to this far in the video. I do appreciate y'all a lot if you do watch this far in the video. Um, long one today. No mercy. It's showing these ghouls no mercy. Just kind of tearing through them. But yeah, wonderful fucking mo weapon mod. Wish I could find a legendary variant. Wish it wasn't placed in an obscure location. Maybe it's the greatest one, and maybe that's why it's hard to find. Um, but I do like this No Mercy. The references on the on the legendaries are really cool. The gun itself is very cool. Added to the leveled list. Very powerful gun. Only like 23 megabytes or something too, and it uses very cheap ammo in like a, just a high fire rate capacity. I, I I'm having a lot of fun with it. If you guys would like to check out this mod for yourselves. The easiest way to do that, check out the top link in the description. Then you can have a 38 machine pistol, the Mac 11, for yourself in your game. You can go find that last legendary variant for me. Um, if you do want to download it for yourselves, check, like I said, check out the top link in the description. If you guys have enjoyed the video, like the video, let me know what you think of this weapon down in the comment section down below. Like I said, you know, these special, with special keywords if you made it that far in the video. And yeah, pretty much other than, oh, subscribe if you haven't already. I, I forgot that part. I'm supposed to say that. I'm a YouTuber. I say the YouTuber things. Otherwise, like, there's like like actual scientific evidence to like, what, like, you know, survey evidence. They're like, if you don't say it, they don't do it. People won't subscribe to you unless you tell them to subscribe. What stupid ass shit is that? You should subscribe if you want to subscribe. You should know how YouTube works, man. Anyway, I said it, okay? Subscribe if you haven't already so that we can check out more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day. Or whatever it may be. And I'll see you in the next episode.